Good morning everyone. It is Friday morning and I thought I would share this model I got from the UK yesterday. Uh, postage kind of accordion the box but the model is in good condition as you'll see in a second. But yeah it's a 172nd scale colonial shuttle from Cosmic Models. I'm sorry I'm so terrible at names. It's from uh, well there it is anyway WCosmicScaleModels.com so uh, let me share with you the kit. Yeah so that's the directions. They also give you this nice graphics here so you know how to paint. They give you reflection also. The details. So yeah, pretty nice. As well as these nice, very nice decals. I'm not sure if they're watermarked or not. They look like they're watermarked. That could be wrong. But they're very nice just the same. Here are the parts laid out. Uh, it's a 3D printed kit. Uh, so uh, but it's really good. Let me show you the detail. Uh, very clean, of course. It gives you little guys, little forklift, all the little detail for the landing gear. Uh, the engines, as you can see, are, are very nice. Uh, so I think they are. <laughs> um, it's some, some little supplies here, you know, canisters to put inside. Because it has, um, here's the bottom anyway. So, uh, it does have an interior in it, so to speak. Uh, but uh, it could, uh, more could be done with the interior, which is nice. And the, I remember he said that, he says he can't wait to see if I do the interior. And this is the bottom pan. Neat. Too bad it has to be hidden. And it fits in there very nice, of course. Not 3D printed. Uh, the other set there. So yeah, you get this nice floorboard in here that fits in there real nice. And the interior uh, cockpit area or passenger area sits like that. And uh, here's the top. You can see the details are very clean. Very accurate to the show. Uh, there's a little damage here as a couple of the things get broken off in shipping. But I got those stuck to a little piece of tape. I found them and I'll glue them back in. I also have to make some sort of vacuform window to fit in here, which I will figure out how to do that later. So, uh, yeah, also they gave me this little thing here, which is kind of fun. A little uh, 3D printed uh, shuttle, or what do they call it? I don't know what they even call the thing. Huh. Uh, tank. I'm just going to call it the tank. I'm sure it's called something else. Uh, I'm sure that. Uh, Battlestar aficionados will say, come on, you know what that is, that's a, you know what, blah, blah, blah. Actually, it's just called Landram, Colonial or Landram, that's what that is. But it's a two halves, see, so you can get inside if you want to put a light in there, too. Uh, no interior for it, but that's, hey, beggars won't be choosers. I'm not sure if this comes with a kit or not. But uh, yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> I see they use a, a snow cat for the treads like they did in Lost in Space. And these teeny tiny little guys, like I haven't really looked at the directions yet to see where everything goes. Some nice uh, chairs, which is exactly, I didn't even know I had these chairs with it for the interior. Yeah, that's like exactly what I was going to do. Kind of like a ferry, the way it's set up. You know, just put the chairs in any, any way you want. And the landing gear, whatnot. A little piece that goes in the back, detail, for your back of the ship here. So, um, and they give you this little forklift and whatnot, and of course, I guess I these little supplies, canisters. So yeah, I'm going to put some boxes and stuff, and maybe some techie stuff in here. Uh, looks like there's another ramp that's supposed to go in the back, but I don't know if it, I don't think it's a ramp or not, but it looks like a ramp. I don't remember seeing anything on the bottom that looks like a ramp. But uh, it could be a ramp back there, I don't know. Goes through one end, comes out the other. Kind of like, a, again, a ferry. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, detail the walls even has a little ladder here. Uh, somewhere, I just saw the, Oh, yeah, here it is. A little ladder that goes from the, up here down to here, which is cool, I think. Yeah. Just, like I said, put some tech wall stuff on there, pipes, you know, power, stuff like that. Uh, a little detail, put some, maybe some amber lighting down there. Yeah. But yeah, I just thought I'd share this kit with you. It's awesome. Uh, actually, I actually can't remember the price on it. You have to give them a, a call. I know, I know they only had a couple left, but I'm sure if they get enough people who want this kit, uh, they'll probably sell them. <laughs> probably make up more. Since it's a 3D printed kit, you know, they got the file. So yeah, pop together here. You can see how it looks. Pretty nifty, huh? Yeah. They just gotta tape it there a little bit when I glue it. No big deal. So, uh, 
I've always liked this version of the shuttle. I have the original one too. It's a monster studio scale one. I'll just have to, uh, but this one I'm more apt to build because I really like the original, the new show more than the original. And those who think that's sacrilege, oh well. But you know, probably because I know how they did the original. They really didn't have a lot of big budgets, so they had to basically make whole space, spaceships and stuff out of just parts laying around. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the kit. Hope you like it.